Monday, President Obama is tackling one facet of gun control head on. He addressed his plan online on Friday, stating if Congress will not act, he will. And the plan is expected to include the expansion of the definition of who is, quote, in the business of selling guns so that more gun sales trigger background checks. It will also require more enhanced reporting and tracking of stolen guns. I directed my team at the White House to look into any new actions I can take to help reduce gun violence. And on Monday, I'll meet with our Attorney General, Loretta Lynch, to discuss our options. The president blames the Republican Party and Congress for giving him no choice but to take unilateral action. Last month, Senate Republicans blocked Democratic proposals that would prevent people on the terror watch list from buying guns and require background checks for online gun purchases. But all that talk about changing the way guns are sold in America has not stopped thousands of Americans from buying weaponry, and that includes, includes right here in Birmingham. WIT 42 News reporter Brittany Bivens joins us now this morning with more from a gun show happening right now at the BJCC. Good morning, Brittany. Yeah, good morning, Jamie. The Great Southern Gun and Knife Show is happening at the BJCC this weekend, and organizers are expecting one of their biggest turnouts ever. Now, fears over terrorist attacks like those in Paris and San Bernardino, California, have many people worried, and the president's reported plan was also a hot topic at that gun show. Now, I went yesterday and I talked to some gun buyers who told me they are worried about their right to bear arms. Arms. Right now, vendors at gun shows like this one are not required to perform complete background checks the way some other gun sellers do, but Obama's plan could change that. Probably look at not doing it if they had to do back, you know, complete background checks. Most of these guys do a good job of making sure what the law is and make sure the Alabama residents and stuff like that. Now, supporters of that plan say that it would ensure that people who are not legally allowed to buy guns cannot. But some gun owners say they're worried that these new background check requirements will restrict their access to private sellers. Now, numbers for that show this weekend are expected to reach as high as 3,000 people. If you would like to go, the show opens today at 10 and runs through 4 at the BJCC. Live in the studio, Brittany Bivens, WIET 42 News coverage you can count on.